Hey, what's up guys? So recently I made a homemade dolly for about $50 and I'm gonna be using it on a horror short film that I'm gonna be making in a few weeks. So it essentially is just eight skateboard wheels attached to some corner brackets that are screwed into the bottom of a piece of plywood. And for your track, it's gonna be one and a half inch PVC pipe. I also attached a Manfrotto fluid head onto the front, which is good for some low angle shots. And then pretty much you'll just take your tripod and put it on the piece of plywood and then just push it along the track and there you go, you got a homemade dolly. So I've been practicing with it for the past week and comparing it to my gimbal, which is the Ronin S. And surprisingly, they get some pretty similar shots depending on what you're trying to pull off. So right now I'm just gonna put up some shot comparisons on the screen and let you guys guess uh, which one's from which. I'm not gonna show you, I'm not gonna tell you which one's from the Dolly or which one's from the Ronin S. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys see uh, which ones you think is from what uh, so you can see how similar they are. So I'm just gonna play those really quick. All right guys, so which one do you think was camera A and which one do you think was camera B? If you think camera A was the Ronin S, then congratulations, you are correct. And if you thought camera B was the homemade dolly, then you are also correct. So I thought this comparison was pretty interesting to show what a $50 do-it-yourself homemade build can do against something like a $500 professionally made gimbal. I know they're not the same tool, and of course, they both are meant for different things. For instance, uh, a gimbal is perfect for long tracking shots if you wanna go over a long distance following a subject, something like that, running shots. It would be pretty ridiculous to put all this uh, track down for your dolly, you would need a bunch of PVC pipe and it's just, you're not gonna do that, something like that. But it is a cool tool to have because you can get some of those nice slow pushing shots or pulling out from a subject just a nice eerie ominous shot and that's why I made it because I want to use it for a horror short film and it's perfect for something like that and I have a gimbal but I also thought that this was a perfect tool for the job because the gimbal honestly isn't the best tool for something like that uh, as you could see when I went on a to a tighter lens you could start seeing the horizon bouncing like when I was pushing in and you saw the table you could see the table kind of bouncing and then when I was going in on the door frame you could see uh, the door frame swaying a little bit like that. A wider lens, you'll be able to get away with it, but I think when you start getting onto tighter lenses and you wanna do slow movements with a gimbal, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be the same look as you get with a dolly, and that's why this was a pretty awesome build because it's only 50 bucks and you can get a pretty professional cinematic look. So I also wanna say that this isn't my build. I've been seeing this homemade dolly online for the past, I don't know, five to six years, and it's always been something that I've wanted to build and test it out to see how well it works, and I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, so I'm gonna leave some links in the description below to videos to where I was inspired to make this build so you can kinda get a more in-depth um, tutorial if you're interested in actually making one. Uh, I definitely think it's a useful tool to add to the arsenal. I mean, uh, the more tools you have at your disposal, the better. You can get uh, more creative shots. You can uh, you just widen your horizons even more at every tool that you add. So if you don't have a gimbal, this is an awesome option to make and it's pretty cheap. And even if you have a gimbal, I made one and I'm, I'm honestly gonna use it on short films coming up because uh, you can get different shots with it that you can't get with a gimbal. But yeah, so that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.